The earth is not a big rock infested with living organisms any more than your skeleton is bones infested with cells. The earth is geological, yes, but this geological entity grows people and our existence on the earth is a symptom of the solar system and its balances as much as the solar system in turn is a symptom of our galaxy and our galaxy in its turn is a symptom of the whole company of galaxies goodness only knows what that's in but you see when as a scientist you describe the behavior of a living organism you try to say what a person does it's the only way in which you can describe what a person is describe what they do then you find out that in making this description you cannot confine yourself to what happens inside the skin in other words you can't talk about a person walking unless you start describing the floor because when I walk, I don't just dangle my legs in empty space. I move in relationship to a room. And so in order to describe what I'm doing when I'm walking, I have to describe the room. I have to describe the territory. So in, in, in de describing my talking at the moment, I can't describe this just as a thing in itself because I'm talking to you. And so what I'm doing at the moment is not completely described unless your being here is described also. So if that is necessary, if in other words, in order to describe my behavior, I have to describe your behavior and the behavior of the environment, it means that we've really got one system of behavior. That what I am involves what you are. I don't know who I am unless I know who you are. And you don't know who you are unless you know who I am. There was a wise rabbi once said, if I am I because you are you, and you are you because I am I, then I am not I and you are not you. In other words, we are not separate. We define each other. We're all backs and fronts to each other. You know, uh, you can't, for example, have two sticks you lean two sticks against each other and they stand up because they support each other. Take one away and the other falls. They interdepend. And so in exactly that way, we and our environment and all of us and each other are interdependent systems. <coughs> we know who we are in terms of other people. We all lock together. And this is again and again the serious scientific description of how things happen and any good scientist knows therefore that what you call the external world is as much you as your own body your skin doesn't separate you from the world it's a bridge through which the external world flows into you and you flow into it just for example as a whirlpool in water you could say because you have a skin you have a definite shape you have a definite form all right here is a, a flow of water and it suddenly it does a whirlpool and then it goes on the whirlpool is a definite form but no water stays put in it the whirlpool is something the stream is doing and exactly the same way the whole universe is doing each one of us and i see you today and i recognize you tomorrow just as I would recognize a whirlpool in a stream. I'd say, oh yes, I've seen that whirlpool before. It's just near so-and-so's house on the edge of the river, and it's always there. So in the same way, when I meet you tomorrow, I recognize you, you're the same whirlpool you were yesterday. But you're moving. The whole world is moving through you. All the cosmic rays, all the food you're eating, the stream of steaks and milk and uh, eggs and uh, uh, everything is just flowing right through you. When you're wiggling the same way, the world is wiggling, the stream is wiggling you. But the problem is, you see, we haven't been taught to feel that way. 
The myths underlying our culture and underlying our common sense have not taught us to feel identical with the universe, but only parts of it, only in it, only confronting it, aliens. And we are, I think, quite urgently in need of coming to feel that we are the eternal universe, each one of us. Otherwise, we're going to go out of our heads. We're going to commit suicide, collectively, with courtesy of H-bombs. And, uh, all right, supposing we do, well, that will be that, and it'll be life making experiments on other galaxies. Maybe they'll find a better game.